School systems across Maryland, they're still working on plans for the new year. Well, a big concern, of course, if students have to stay home is that some of them might fall behind. A lot of kids don't have access to computers and laptops and everything else that they might need. WMR2 News' Megan Knight is outside Pauline Western in North Baltimore. So, Megan, what are the options that the Baltimore City Public School System is looking at when it comes to reopening? Well, Christian, so there's basically three options, and it sounds like a lot of school districts are considering these options going forward. So the first one would be to let kids come back to the classroom and come back full time. Another option would be for them to split their time. So a little bit in the classroom, a little bit of at home learning. And then the third option would be just to continue with the uh, distance learning that they were doing for most of the spring semester. Now we spoke to Joe Kane. He's a parent uh, with four kids in the Baltimore City school system. He's also part of a work group that is helping the school district to decide how to proceed in opening a uh, reopening come fall. Now, city school leaders must present their plan to the school board of commissioners during their meeting on July 28th. And while cases of the coronavirus here in Maryland have gone down, they've pretty much plateaued, continuing to stay down. Other states like Florida are seeing major spikes in numbers. And Kane says he's just not comfortable sending his kids back to school until, the, until there's a better handle nationwide on this virus. It doesn't help anyone to have kids get, catch COVID and, and go, take it back home and see how many people die. We have to be deliberate because people's lives are online. People's lives are on the line. Education is on the line. Um, the future of our city is on the line if we don't get this right. Yeah, so these decision makers, you know, they, they feel the weight of this decision being made, but they want as much input as possible. So Baltimore City Schools are actually going to be starting virtual town halls. Uh, the first one is today. They're going to be holding them every Thursday, and they want parents and teachers and students to join in and give their thoughts and opinions about this uh, process of reopening schools. So the first one is, uh, again, today starts at 1 o'clock, which you can watch on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube pages of the school district. Uh, you can also go onto their website. You can take a survey if you want. You can do a focus group. You could even do a one-on-one -on -one interview with school leaders uh, to give your thoughts about this process. So uh, we have all that information on our website right now at WMAR2news.com. We're live in North Baltimore, Megan Knight, WMAR2news.